good, everybody? It's your boy Totsman here once again alongside my tag team partner Dale Clifford out there in Fernley, Nevada. Welcome to yet another episode of the No Gimmicks Podcast. Dale, what is good, my man? Oh, a lot, Todd, as I could, obviously. And um, we're going to go look back on uh, the matches of April from uh, WWE. So that's what's pretty good, and there was a lot of them. Uh huh. Um, it yes, it was kind of hard to choose, which is a good thing. Um, we narrowed it down to a little bit about 15, so that uh, mm-hmm. otherwise we're watering it down a little bit. So uh, I'll I'll just give you a five real quick that we liked. Uh, Naomi versus Charlotte for the Women's Championship on SmackDown Live. Ty Dillinger versus Eric Young in a steel cage on NXT. The six-pack challenge for the number one contender uh, WWE Championship. Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, Luke Harper, Mojo Rawley, Jinder Mahal, and Eric Rowan from SmackDown Live. Bobby Roode versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the NXT Championship on uh, TakeOver Orlando. And the Hardys versus Sheamus and Cesaro from uh, Payback for the Raw Tag Team titles. Sounds good to me, Dell. Nets 5 up are Tyler Bate versus Jack Gallagher for the UK title from NXT. TJ Perkins versus Jack Gallagher from 205 Live, and that was their main event. Drew McIntyre versus Oni Lorcan from NXT, also another main event. And then we had AJ Styles versus Baron Corbin versus Sami Zayn, num- number one contender for the U.S. title and a triple threat there. And then also Aries versus TJ Perkins versus Jack Gallagher versus Mustafa Ali. And that was a number one contender for the Cruiserweight title from 205 Live. What you got, Nets, Dale? All right, we got uh, from the post Mania Raw, we got Seth Rollins and uh, Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens. All right, up Nets, I have the Fatal 4 Way Ladder match featuring. Um, Sheamus and Cesaro versus Gallows and Anderson versus Enzo and Cass in a surprise debut from the Hardys. What you got nets there, Dale? All right, we're going to stick with a WrestleMania 33. We got Neville and Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight title from the kickoff show. Okay, and then we also got Seth Rollins versus Triple H from WrestleMania 33. And last but not least, our top match from the month of April, we have the Authors of Pain versus DIY versus The Revival. And that was a triple threat elimination match for the t- NXT tag titles from TakeOver Orlando. So this was a battle between what was at the time the top three tag teams on the NXT roster. The reason I said at the time was because this proved to be the final match for The Revival prior to being called up to, her, to the main roster during the Superstar Shakeup. DIY and Revival had a huge task of trying to outdo their previous effort, which strongly delivered, and to further complicate the task, they had the addition of two huge obstacles in the form of Razar and Akum. At times, the viewer probably would have thought that they were checking out a four-on-two match as DIY and the Revival collaborated quite often. In the end, it was the last chapter for the Revival as Authors of Pain capitalized with their signature finish, finisher and retained their newly designed NXT tag titles. Dale, what's your thoughts on our top match from the month of April from the WWE? I just thought this one had... Um great uh, psychology to it and as you pointed out oftentimes yes. it did look like it was a four on two match but you got to remember it's like the authors of pain mm-hmm. undefeated um and a big big men tag team um and yes. diy are tiny guys and the revival are kind of in the middle so it just kind of made sense mm-hmm. that you picked up on diy and the revival working together to try to take down aop who is Obviously, you look at this as like the revival uses heel tactics, and DIY, but and DIY is the face. But coming into this mm-hmm. one, they they kind of both became faces because everybody likes the revival, and then AOP was the heel tag team, so it made sense for the two or smaller teams to try to work together to eliminate AOP. Both teams were in the end were yes. unsuccessful, um, and AOP retained, and they remained undefeated. I uh, also am just curious to know now where AOP goes from here um, because they really have succeeded very much um, with the help from DIY and the Revival. Now that the Revival got the call up, even though they're now um, out of action because uh, Dash broke his jaw. But it will be interesting to see where uh, AOP goes Um, because I know DIY and the Revival really helped to kind of carry them uh, up to where they are now. Yes, yes, they did. I mean, they have... uh... You know, a couple interesting ta- teams that could possibly, um, you know, pose a challenge for them, including those guys, Heavy Machinery, who can actually match up 
to them quite well in terms of uh, size and stature, but they definitely need to rack up um, probably a few more wins before they would get the opportunity to face Razar Nakam for the NFC tag titles. And it's interesting to me that, as you had said, it seemed like the crowd wanted to get behind the Revival, yet once they debuted on the main roster, they obviously were um, were still hills. I mean, especially, you know, we're going after the uh, the New Day the way that they did. Um, it's very unfortunate timing that, you know, that tag team is going to be off of TV for a while here. So hopefully they can get their momentum back once they, uh, they get back on there and, you know, it should be interesting to see what's next for DIY as well. Um, and how they kind of get back into it and possibly re-challenge for the, um, the NFC tag titles once again at some point in the future. So thank you for joining us for the top matches up from the month of April for the WWE. We are no gimmicks, no image, all wrestling all the time. Please subscribe to our official YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash the No Gimmicks Podcast. Please make sure that you subscribe publicly so that way we are aware of your support. Check out Craig Perkins' articles on ProWrestling.com. We would like to hear from our viewers, so please leave us some feedback in our comment section. Also, please like our Facebook and follow us on Twitter at the No Gimmicks PC. Remember, sharing is caring. Feel free to share the links to our episodes with other pro wrestling fans on your social media accounts as well. That does it for this episode of No Gimmicks Podcast. For my tag team partner, Dale Clifford in Fernley, Nevada, this is Todd Smith in Bristol, Connecticut signing off. Until next time around, y'all take care. Thank <laughs> you.